Hello everyone, it's Shanna. I'm so glad you're here today. Now today's video is a hop featuring our super sponsor Gina Kay and I will be working with her stamp set that's called Create a Tag Holiday Mini. And I'll also be working with Kendra's Card Challenge Sketch number six. And I want to thank you for joining our hop uh, featuring, featuring our super sponsor Gina Kay. Our team will be showcasing some of their amazing stamp sets um, with Kenner's Card Challenge 12. This um, hop is a giveaway hop in which you can win a prize. So I want to encourage you to follow along, um, visit each site and check out the designs and if you like what you see give them a comment, perhaps even a subscribe and make sure you click the link in the description box below. You'll find more detail there but there is a link to enter the prize giveaway so you're going to want to be sure and do that. Okay, so let's talk about the card for a minute. So I just took my um, tag and I stamped it down and I used spun sugar collar um, on it and it's real pretty pink. And now I'm bringing in my Merry Christmas um, and my antler, my antlers, and I'm going to stamp them down in gathered twigs in a brown collar. So I've got a pink and brown collar scheme going here. And I've chosen this because of the patterned paper that I have selected for my sketch. So just getting it inked up really good. And I'm also going to bring in the little um, snowflake from the stamp set as well. And I'm going to um, use some clear or some white pigment ink and stamp it down. And I'm so that I can use some embossing powder on it. And I'll just emboss the whole tag. Just giving it a second pass so that I make sure I get enough ink on there. I'm going to bring in just a clear embossing powder and then just emboss it and give it a little bit of shine. I think that'll be cute. If you haven't tried Kendra's Card Challenge, um, it is a challenge in which she provides you with a cutting guide and card sketches for 15 cards. You use six 6x6 six six sheets of patterned paper and follow the cutting guide and the sketch and you'll have 15 fabulous cards made from it. And um, you also have a chance to win prizes if you take a single picture of all 15 cards and enter it into the appropriate folder on Kinder's Card Challenge Facebook group. Um, you still have chances to win for November and December so you can put a picture of 15 cards in the November album and a picture of your 15 cards in the December album and you'll have chances to win. We have tons of prizes. We have fabulous sponsors who are very, very generous and they provide us with a lot of um, prizes for you. So I would recommend you give it a shot because there are just so many chances to win and so many fabulous prizes from our prize sponsors just like Gina Kay. Gina Kay is one of our prize sponsors. So here I'm just following the sketch and I'm cutting all my paper and my layers to um, fit on my card and the two pieces of pattern paper um, are from the cutting guide and then you just bring in the layers and I've got this pink panel that I'm going to put on it as well and I'm right here I'm just making an A2 size card base getting it scored up and, and folding it down and I'm going to lay it landscape for my card design. And then this pink pattern paper I decided to add some dimension to it by using an embossing folder. So I'm just going to run it through my die cutting machine with one of my embossing folders and I'm going to um, bring it in and lay it back down on my card base. So I think it looks really pretty. I think the you know the embossing folder kind of adds some dimension for my card. And I'm just using my glue tape runner and getting it laid down. Um, I started to use my glue for a minute but it was clogged up so I just grabbed that tape runner again and just made fast work of it by using the glue tape runner. Um, and I'm just layering and both of these pattern papers are just layered on some brown paper that I found in my stash. Not sure where I got it. And I'm just lining it up making sure I get it um, how I want it on my card panel. And I think it looks really cute. So, and I've got that little tag that I've um, stamped it up from Gina K to match my um, card. And I've decided that I want to separate the two pinks. And so I'm going to bring off camera, you can't see it to the side there, I'm cutting some more of that brown scrap paper that I had. And I've cut it, I think, a fourth of an inch all the way around 
uh, larger than my tag and I'm just going to cut snip the corners and um, just make it look like a, a layered tag there and then I'm bringing in my hole punch cutting the center out of the tag and I had some pink ribbon in my stash and I'm just going to run it through there and um, this will finish up my card. So I just want to encourage you to click the description box below, check out um, all of the participants, the designers in the hop, follow along, watch all their videos, and like and subscribe if you like what you see. And um, don't forget to click that description box and fill out the prize form in the description box so that you will have a chance to win from this hop. So this is my card using Sketch 6, and I hope you like it. If you do, consider giving me a thumbs up. Thanks, and have a great day.